Our journey begins at 4 a.m. We are heading 200 miles north to Sac Zimbog near Cotton, Minnesota in search for the Great Gray Owl. Every year we head up to this area of wilderness hoping to spot the Great Gray Owl. The last two years our search came up fruitless and empty. All we seen was empty trees and snow. As we near our destination, we spot a deer on the road. In the winter time, the white-tailed deer will yard up, which means large masses of deer congregating in one area. They do this mainly to protect them from predators and also to take turns breaking the trail in the deep snow. When you see one, there are many more nearby. My brother Russ, who was a professional woodcarver and an avid bird watcher, and I gathered our gear as we prepare for the search. I would do anything to get some great footage of that majestic bird. one. No, it's just an old beehive that has seen its better days. Our search continues. As we were hiking along, we came across a pair of red squirrels. They eat mostly the seeds of trees. food is put in caches, either buried or in nooks or in holes in trees, and eaten when the food is scarce. Red squirrels that survive their first winter have a life expectancy of three years. On average, 75 to 85 percent of juveniles die their first winter. Lucky for these little guys, someone put out a bird feeder in the middle of the woods for them to raid. This little guy never learned a lesson of sharing. Our search continues. Again, as we're hiking along, we came across a flock of black-capped chickadees dancing in the frost. Like the red squirrels, 
Each fall, the black-capped chickadees gather and store large supplies of seeds in many different places. Remarkably, they are able to remember where they stash their supplies of seeds. During the extremely cold nights, this remarkable little bird shows another interesting ability. It can lower its body temperature. This ability to go into a controlled hyperthermia helps it to conserve essential energy. In addition, the black-capped chickadees sometimes cluster together in tree cavities for extra warmth. A hairy woodpecker and a nuthatch join the flock. It's getting late in the day and the sun is getting ready to set. Our time is running out. But wait, can it be? Yes, the great gray owl. Small mammals such as voles, gophers, mice, moles, and chipmunks make up the majority of their diet. They hunt at night and during the day from perches where they listen intently for small mammals moving under the snow. And once they detect a small mammal, they hover over the snow and plunge their talons into the snow to grab it. hearing and can find prey by hearing alone. They can detect a prey over a hundred meters away through the snow as deep as one and a half feet or 45 centimeters. It is one of the tallest owls in North America. Its length is between 24 to 33 inches, 61 to 84 centimeters, with a wingspan of 54 to 61 inches which is 137 to 153 centimeters. Despite its size, the great gray owl is an elusive bird that's not easy to find. Their habitats are dense boreal and coniferous forests often adjoining open areas like bogs and meadows. This was a great adventure. <laughs>